Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today's video is October Waits. Sorry, it is not focusing. Okay, well, probably try and focus on here. So, yeah, let's get right on into it. So, last month, Nighthawk was 26 grams. Um, I really hoped he's gained some weight. Don't know what he's doing. He kind of wants to get on the scale himself. So, he rarely ever wants to get on the scale. So, take your guesses. I think he's gained maybe five grams. What? He's gained nine grams. He was 26 grams, and now he has 35 grams. Doesn't want to focus on anything today. Okay, well, there we go. Hey, you gained nine grams. In a month. It's crazy. He's like, yeah, I don't care. Actually, so if you can see, hold on. It's going to take a minute to zoom in. I mean, focus. I was focusing on his body, but not his face. I was focused on his foot. Maybe if I look back up. Okay. So. If you can see, there's like a little like divot between like his nostril, I guess, and his eye. That's because, and it's way more colorful than the rest of him. He's probably going to shed soon in like a couple days. But that's, and that's more colorful because he actually had some stuck shed on there for a little bit. And I couldn't get it off because it was like stuck on him. There was no loose parts or anything. So he was just, oh, bye. He was just in his moist hide all day. Just chilling. And it just came off. So that's lovely, but now he looks kind of funny. So let's get on to his shedding and eating for the month. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram or if you um, have watched my latest video, you probably have seen this new folder that I got. I love it so much. Um, There's some fun stickers in it. One thing I want to say is that I cannot do a Repticon video. I'm, there's like 20 pictures maybe, but there's barely any pictures. I filmed one part and forgot to film everything else. So, yeah, it's lovely. But anyways, I have this lovely folder. It's um like three fingers thick, even though that's not a measurement, but whatever. Um, actually, I got all these stickers at Repticon. But seriously, why won't it focus on anything? Okay, so I got a Zoomit sticker. I got a um, Rapashi sticker, even though he's not on raised on Rapashi Grub Pie. It was the only Leopard Gecko sticker, which I liked. So in here, this is his food section. We have, seriously, is it focused? Yes, okay. We have, for zero to six months, you feed them every day, and then what I fed him, calcium, 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 multivitamin, etc. And then for six to 12 months, you should feed them every other day, calcium, 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 multivitamin. And then 12 plus months, every three to four days, calcium, 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 multivitamin, etc. So, Nighthawk, October 25th, turned seven months old. Woohoo. So, I, don't, I recommend until they're seven months old, or like a week or so before, keep them on that um, everyday feeding schedule. And then once they're either seven months or like a week before they're seven months, get them onto this schedule. And then until they're like, um, obviously 12 months, I say when they're a year and like two weeks, you should get them to feed every three days. But if they feed, if you feel like they're just eating like constantly, and if you don't give them food 
or they're like getting super excited about their food and they just kind of want more and more maybe feed them like the amount you normally feed them every three days like if you fed them like say 10 small mealworms is my mealworm thing for night hawks so if you fed them 10 small mealworms one day waited two days and then you fed them the third day maybe in between those two days just pop in like a cricket or obviously you need variation but like if just like give them like a little bit of food don't starve your gecko so nighthawk actually just went over to this seven month old schedule i guess so yeah that's what i have in here we have his previous feedings there's all sorts of things in here so this is i only so i started keeping this in september but um here so in september 25th right here he was six months old seems like he had um some mealworms so all up till here he only got fed um mealworms and then i got crickets so a small c equals cricket and m equals mealworm just in this section then in this section um and um sorry about that so um in this section the in m with an s above a small s above it like um right here that means a small mealworm if it's a L above it, that's a large mealworm, and if there's a W above it or just next to it, that means waxworm. And C means cricket. So, we have all this, and then I'm not sure. So, seems like the 16th, we switched over to doing this, and that is uh, nine days before he turns seven months old. So, that seems reasonable. So, I fed him... Here, sometimes, like here, I gave him a waxworm in between because it's just for like a treat. So, I know sometimes, um, people say like only feed like one, like five ma whoa, five waxworms like a month or something like that. Um, so sometimes I just mix them in like four small mealworms and a waxworm. And I did, oh waxworms here two waxworms here and a waxworm here and all that stuff so yeah so also these little just remind me what i'm doing but i can't just look back for the calcium so i'll have calcium tomorrow so this is today the 28th this is when i'm filming this just letting you know and then we have november so now on to the sorry weights. i did not mean to say weights but we already know the weights so i meant to say on to the shedding but first, my sticker. Zilla sticker. Okay, now onto the shedding. Okay, so this sh shedding for September, this is when I started tracking everything was in September because this was the first time I noticed him shedding. Like, I knew he would shed, but I didn't really, like, ever catch him shedding or anything. So September 17th in the afternoon, he was all white and ready to shed. And in the 18th, the morning of the 18th, he had shed, like, a bit of it and then was done. So 17th through 18th, it was easy, no help. October 2nd through 3rd, it was um, a little hard on his head because these two sheds, he shed his body before his head, so his head's not quite ready, and it, so it's difficult. And then October 17th through 18th, he shed. See, I see a pattern here, and it's almost the 2nd of October. I mean, sorry, November. That would be like, hold on, that's this Friday. He might shed a little bit beforehand, but I actually, he's like a little bit paler than normal, but I actually think he's on schedule. And normally when they're like eight, they get into a perfect schedule of their weights that are always the same in a rhythm of a month. And their like shedding is like literally like like the um weights it's like they shed normally the exact same thing but he's only like seven months like i said and he's already having a like schedule it's amazing so on to the next so thing. this is totally random but i wanted to try and show you guys nighthawk in his little moist hide if you can see him so um 
two times every week when he's not shedding, just when he's just like normal, I put his moist tide in. It has um, a wet paper towel on there, and I, um, whoa, that was a weird spot. And I like painted and decorated it, if you can see. It's like, it has like a drip effect of brown and black. You can kind of see him right there. But yeah, so just wanted to show you guys. And then when he's shedding, I will make sure to put this in every day in replace of his hot hide. But this sits on top of the heat mount in all, and it has a little lid if you can kind of see right there. But um, I dug up all the eco-earth underneath it, so it's sitting right on top of the heat mat, and he loves it in there. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I have two super fun festive... Well, no, one's festive. I have two super fun videos coming out. I hope you watch them. Hope you found my shedding tips and trick video... Tips and tricks video interesting and helpful. I spent a lot of time on that editing and creating it and i think it's really good quality too the only thing is that his um moist hide doesn't look this cool so if you see this video beforehand it's a sneak peek but yeah hope you enjoyed this video if you did just let me know thanks for watching bye